just happened to decide that, you know, I should record this while I do it because I'd seen some other guys on YouTube do it and uh, they kind of left out a few things. So I might ramble a little bit as usual, but I'm trying to include some stuff a little above and beyond. Ended up getting me a body panel out of a truck and we're gonna well this up. I'll cut that out first so I can get rid of all them holes. thing tacked in here uh, I think from the video I counted like 13 trial and error fits to try to get it and still it wasn't perfect but it did pick up something pretty cool at Harbor Freight they didn't have the tips I was wanting but it's these little things for sheet metal so if you're doing butt welds and sheet metal you'll leave a gap you know so of course you'll have to weld the gap back in but you put that down in there and you'll put that little slide bar will go across and you will have a piece of metal this side and that side butted up and then you can just tighten that little wing nut up and it'll draw them two pieces of metal together and line them up underneath there. So this is like a pack of eight for like six bucks. I should have bought about five packs of them. Anyway, I put one on each side and then three down knees on the middle. So I had to grind out a little bit more for them to, to sit in and I can fill that up. But uh, one thing to be conscious of, you're gonna use those, you go put tacks right up next to them. Just don't, you don't tack it, but then pull the things out because, you know, when you're welding, this stuff's hot, it's expanded. Well, when that cools off, the metal shrinks back. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll end up, you put tacks on both sides of one of these, you'll pinch it in there so hard, you might tear the thing up getting it out. For the auto sets, if you, you know, you've got your, I'm using flux core wire. So your flux core, you don't have to have a shielding gas. And it's probably the best wire for that. You know, it's all position wire, overhead, anything. You know, something's a little rusty, painted, whatever. Uh, you know, I'm, well, I guess that don't really matter. It's still gonna be upside down no matter what I do. But anyway, this is a <clears throat> 030 flux core wire. That's, I think, a 10 pound roll of it. Um, so on these millers, you know, they say 235. So that'd be your, you got your knobs up here on the front of this machine, which look like this. So, you know, you're, you'd be down there on the two over on the 35. But you'll have some trial and error here. But uh, anyway, this is what I'm using is a flux core 030 and uh the setting's a little bit lower just you using that setting and then you just play with the one knob and that's uh <clears throat> that's up here so most of the time if i'm welding stuff you know you'll just click that down to your 030 and then just as a starting point, figure out what thickness metal that you're welding and then just try to weld it and go from there and then you just adjust this and forget about that. So, uh, you know, your wire speed, you're gonna have to, you can think of this as your wire speed and you can think of this as your heat, you know, voltage and feed speed. So anyway, I will set the camera back up and go back to watching me tack well. And I'm leaving this one sitting here as a ground for a little while. I'll eventually 
probably weld the ground on somewhere else. I think that's about as far as I'm gonna do it. Cause I'm gonna be spraying this rhino liner and this is not a show truck. This is a going to the dump truck. So uh, I left the weld a little bit proud, a little bit higher there. Uh, you know, stuff's dented up. So, I mean, things were not perfect. They were real close though, as far as the lineup. So if you, if you don't have it perfect and you try to sand that well out, like this this piece here i think is just a tiny bit higher than that piece maybe but uh if you try to sand it out flush well one piece is going to get sanded too thin so i'm going to put the rhino liner on there and i figure i'll just sand it down enough to where i think the rhino liner is going to compensate for that so yeah it looks kind of nasty but i'm going to put that rhino liner on there pretty heavy and uh anyway you know i don't got some rust in some places and stuff like that you know like there's some rust this could you know you could say well is that undercut and well i kind of overlapped it uh, camera don't really do it justice but yeah i'm just leaving it a little bit higher there uh one other thing i would highly recommend getting one of these so, of course, this is a Speed Glass 9100, but I mean, Miller makes them, some other people make them. I think I'm, I can't remember if I paid close to $300 for this thing or what, but uh, if you're going to, I need a new sweatband in it, if you're going to be uh, welding, this will save you so much time. You got your shade button so you hold it for three seconds and it'll go to like three or, or what is that five or either eight on the left hand side and that's like if you're grinding or if you're running a cutting torch or something like that and then nine through 13 over here on the right uh, it does have batteries and then you've got a flash time uh, delay time on there your sensor you know you can you can have it a longer delay time, but if I can show you here, see if I can get this phone set up. Maybe flip my welder on. So as far as your shade goes, you know, you can do like that and it'll just start over if you hold it three seconds. Now I'll go to five or eight. So I'm going to hold it three seconds again. I go uh, 11 most things. Uh, 
we're just going to put this onto our delay. Let's see. I'm going to have this thing on instant here. So I just got an old lawnmower blade here. I'm going to try to lay this phone in this welding helmet. Flip the machine on. So we're just going to try to look through the cell phone and lay a bead here. The wire's a little bit long there. Yeah. Look over on this part of the screen here. So now I'm going to change my sensor, put it back to two. So watch that part of the screen. So it, it waits a second before it lightens back up. That way if you're tacking a lot, it's not turning on and off and your eyes are not getting fatigued. So we're going to go to three. So now if I was going to tack, maybe, uh, you know, I just wouldn't have so much issues there. So anyway, that's what you were looking at. Another thing, don't forget safety. I mean, well no over gas tank back here. What I did is had some pieces of steel right up to the bottom of that. Uh, you've got plastic fuel lines and all kind of stuff under there. So safety first, right?